three OpenAI researchers mysteriously left for Meta. DeepMind just revealed a model that reads your DNA, and YouTube knows what part of the video you'll click before you do. Coincidence or something bigger? Let's talk about Gemma 3N, the most powerful on-device AI model ever made. It's multilingual, multimodal, and mind-blowingly efficient. We're talking about a model that digests audio, images, video, and text, all in a single checkpoint. And it runs on just two to three gigabytes of VRAM. Want to try it? Google made it click and go on Hugging Face, Kaggle, and AI Studio. The real magic? Matformer, a matryoshka-style transformer that hides a large model inside a small one. You can shrink it, stretch it, or benchmark it on your Raspberry Pi using the new Matformer Lab. Oh, and it just broke the 1,300 LM Arena score, a first under 10B parameters. Meanwhile, DeepMind quietly dropped a bomb. Alpha Geno. Think AlphaFold, but for human DNA. It predicts how genetic mutations change gene behavior and helps researchers sift through thousands of variants in hours, not weeks. Scientists say this might unlock therapies for ultra-rare cancers. And guess what? It's free for non-commercial use. Now jump back to the dev world. Google just released Gemini CLI, a command line tool powered by Gemini 2.5 Pro. You type prompts, it reasons step-by-step -step right in your terminal. Need to sync with VS Code? Done. It's fast, open source, and totally free. Not to be outdone, Anthropic's Claude just turned into a one-window app studio. Inside your chat, it now builds, compiles, and serves full apps live. No dev environment needed. People have already made dashboards, AI agents, and flashcard generators right there in chat. And while that's happening, Meta is playing corporate chess. It just poached top AI researchers from OpenAI, including the guy behind their reasoning models. Rumor has it Zuckerberg offered $13 million per head, and Meta isn't slowing down. WhatsApp now offers AI-powered message summaries using encrypted models that even Meta can't see. It's private, optional, and rolling out now. Oh, and YouTube? It finally joined the party. An AI search carousel highlights the exact part of a video you need, and an ask button gives you instant summaries and answers on the fly. So here's the real question. Why is Meta going all in on AI talent right now? Something big is coming. Drop your theories in the comments, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.